Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I haven't made a video in a long time and that's mainly because of you know like my usual shtick with like when I break out too much I really don't want to be in front of the camera. So my skin has finally calmed down after a really long time and I'm finally feeling like filming a video. Plus I did buy stuff again. So let's just get on with it. I believe this video will be a short one just because I'm just going to show you guys what I bought from Amazon Prime Day which was on July 11th. And at first I thought I wasn't going to be buying anything from Amazon just because uh, K-Beauty tends to be more expensive on that site but I did manage to find some good deals that appealed to me. So starting off with the first K-Beauty item that got me into this haul is this. The Sue Beauty Feels so, <laughs> Feel so Good Calming Toner Pads. So the main reason why I wanted to buy these toner pads in the first place is because I'm an avid watcher of the creator of this product who is Sue Beauty. And if you watch Sue's channel, you would know that she just loves to promote her own product. I bought these toner pads with a discounted price of $20, which is like the lowest price I've ever seen it on any other website. And $20 might seem like a lot for a 70 piece toner pad, but you have to remember that this is made by an individual brand, not like a huge corporation. So this is a pretty competitive market price. With, without discount, the original price is actually at $29.99, so I was really glad that I was able to get this for like $10 less on Prime Day. Plus, I just really want to support Sue's business and see what these toner pads are all about. So the main selling point of these toner pads is that it's made of 80% cabbage leaf water and cabbage extract is said to be good for helping calm down the skin, reducing sebum production, and taking care of your pores. There's also a lot of other ingredients good for calming the skin like Santella, Asiatica, Aloe, and Green Tea Extract. And as you can see from this picture here, those ingredients are pretty high on the list. So I've been using these pads every morning and night since receiving my Amazon order on Monday and I really like how it feels on my skin after washing my face. And these pads really do leave a refreshing feel on my skin. Because it's only been a few days since I've started using this, I can't say much about how much it has changed my pores or acne, but this is just a really nice product to use in this hot summer. I also really enjoy the scent of these toner pads. It claims that there is no artificial fragrance included, but the scent you do smell is from the natural cabbage leaf extract. And it really smells refreshing like aloe or cucumber. One other thing that Sue says she worked really hard on is the cotton quality of these pads. So I can confirm that they're actually really soft on the skin and they're good for gentle exfoliation. So overall, I have a really good impression of these toner pads and I can see why Sue is so proud of her creation. And they're just really good for the hot summertime right now. The next item I got on Prime Day is not beauty related at all. It's just something really random that I thought about on a whim. And that was just, um, reusable boba straws and these are like the metal kinds so I don't know I just I just feel like one day these will come in handy because sometimes we bring <laughs> this is so hard to explain but yeah if you knew me I'm an avid boba drinker so I was thinking maybe I could change like my habits and start using a more environmentally friendly <laughs> straws instead of just wasting so many plastics so let's see how that goes in the future just talking about these straws is making me crave bubble right now, especially because this room is pretty hot. And back to the K-Beauty. So the next item I have in my haul is something that I actually showed in my last video, and that is the Etude Fixing Tint. But this time it's in a different shade. It is Midnight Mauve. I pretty much grabbed one of these on Prime Day just because the discount was really good for what it's usually priced at. Because apparently without the Prime Day discount, this is priced at $14.40 which is pretty above average compared to the other listings from other Korean beauty websites. So when I saw the fixing tin listed for $8 on Prime Day, I just had to grab a new shade to try out. In my last video I made, I showed you guys number 8, which is Dusty Beige, and this is number 5, Midnight Mauve. So apparently these are both the MOBB shades of the collection. And this is like a, if I remember correctly, this is like a warm summer mute, and this is a cool summer mute. Now I'm not really sure what that means but I do know that that's kind of like a color guide that Koreans like to go off of when it comes to like their personal color. I'm actually wearing a light layer at number 5 right now and on camera it's kind of faded so I think I'll just apply a new layer on camera for you guys right now. So like I said in my previous video, these Etude Fixing Tints have become like my favorite matte tint formula I've ever tried. And I especially love how there is no problem with me applying a second layer without it feeling too dry or cakey on the lips. So right here is number 5, Midnight Noir, and right now I'm gonna swatch number 8, Dusty Beige. 
And right away, you can tell a big difference in tones. One's a lot more cool, obviously. <laughs> Having used both tints, I'm not sure which shade I would prefer over the other. I guess it just depends on my mood. But I just, oh my god, like. But I would definitely recommend these for people who are looking for a My Lip But Better shade. So the next item is something that I definitely didn't see myself buy on Amazon Prime Day, and that is the Pyongyang Yule One Third Cotton Pads. And these are actually two boxes and one for $9.99, which is a pretty good sale. Two boxes for $9.99 is a pretty good deal, I'd say, just because one box itself on another site like Style Korean is $4.20. So the price difference between buying two boxes on Style Korean versus Amazon was just $1, which is a really good deal for me. At first, when I received my Amazon order, I was pretty confused because I thought that this is a set of two boxes and then it only came in this one box and then I opened it and then I saw that it, there's actually two inside. So here's how the box of cotton pads looks like. It's pretty small. It's only like 160 pieces and they're also really thin, which is the main reason why I wanted to buy these toner pads. So according to the official description of these pads, these facial cottons save toner by absorbing only one third of the toner you used in general cotton pads but still provides sufficient moisture on skin. So it's pretty much just a more efficient cotton pad. I just opened the box to see how the pads look like and they're really thin like this. Apparently made of pulp rayon and I actually didn't buy this for like toning purposes but for like a temporary mask pack as you can see from this picture here. I really wanted to be like those YouTubers who like do a quick mask before like makeup or something just for like or like quick relief you know so in the future i plan to use these just for like spot treatment using like the toners and essences i have a lot of and finally the last k-beauty product i have from this haul is this blusher palette from the brand i mini so i actually already own this blush palette from the brand but like in different shade and that is called fruit flavor and it's part of their original um classic collection which came in three different shades right here and the fruit flavor version is more of their cool tone shades in comparison to the new one I bought. In my opinion, I think that this blush palette is pretty high up there when it comes to pricing. <laughs> Just because these normally go around for $20 on Amazon without a special discount. So for Prime Day, I saw it for like probably 20% off and that's like the lowest I've ever seen it. So I just felt like, mm, might as well buy it, you know, because I've been eyeing it for quite a while. I was actually debating if I really wanted this blush palette or not, but I found out that this new shade they release which is milk tea time was only available on amazon because you can actually find these for a, a relatively cheaper price of like 12 dollars and other sites like yes style or style vanna but for some reason you can only find the fourth shade on amazon one thing i do have to know is that i'm mimi's afternoon tea blush palettes do have a strong fragrance with it so if you're not into that then i would stay away from these so as you can see on camera this is a warm tone blusher palette based on the colors of milk tea which i really love you know me and this light shade is cream milk tea and the middle one is honey milk tea and the darkest one is black milk tea the formula of i mimi's blush palettes are really nice like they're not too sheer but they're not too pigmented either so they're perfect for building up colors so i was pretty surprised when i saw them in person because when i saw them on instagram for the first time i thought they're a bit more on the colder side but after trying them out in person they're actually a lot more orange and peachy tone than i thought which i don't know if that's really like close to milk tea, you know. <laughs> but if they really wanted to be accurate to shades of milk tea, I guess that they would end up with like a brown palette. Those are just my thoughts on the colors of this palette, so I was thinking about trying in front of you guys on camera. I'm gonna go in with the lightest shade cream milk tea just for like the base color of my cheeks. Hope you guys can see it. So this is definitely a really light shade close to like flesh skin tone so I, I can't really see it on my mirror but I would say it's a good shade for those who want to apply like a base color or just want a subtle look so I'm just gonna apply honey milk tea over that to see if I can build up more color So here's honey milk tea and there's definitely a lot more color. Compared to the lightest shade I use, I can definitely tell on camera that I have blush on right now. So this is a really good color for like the main shade of blush on your cheeks, if that made sense. <laughs> for the right side of my face, I'll just apply with the darkest shade of the palette, black milk tea. So 
So the left side of my face has the two lightest shades of the palette and on my right side is the darkest blush shade and I kind of applied a bit more blush than usual just to show you guys how it looked like on camera but I think they both turned out well so my overall thoughts on this blusher palette from iMimi is that I really like the formula and the shades that each version has and I really love how they have this tea aesthetic which is mainly the reason why I bought this in the first place just because I really like milk tea <laughs> I would say this is probably not a palette that you need to buy like right away but for the price I got it at which is like $17 for three pans it's kind of like paying almost $5 each and I would say five to six dollars per pan is kind of like your average cream blush shade price depending on the brand of course so it's not that bad when you think about it like that so that was everything for my K-beauty haul for Amazon Prime Day like I said this is a really short video I didn't really buy that much <laughs> so in the future, I think I might be planning another spell cream haul and <laughs> to try out new makeup that caught my eye. So hopefully I don't have another huge breakdown in the future and I'm not too lazy to film in front of the camera again. It's getting pretty hot in this room right now, so I hope you found some of these items interesting. I was pretty surprised at how much I ended up spending for Amazon Prime Day just because like I said earlier, Korean beauty packs are pretty expensive on that site. So as always, don't forget to click on the like button. Leave a comment below and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!